Want to retrieve a single text description result in Excel while creating reports? Look no further. The GXE formula in Spreadsheet Server uses a custom query to retrieve a single value, such as an account description, that can be utilized with any segment value. It is a non-calculated formula used to provide a segment description. Let's walk through the process of creating and modifying a GXC formula. First, let's build and insert the GXC formula. While it is not essential to have a GXL formula set up to insert a GXC formula, they can be configured to work together to retrieve specific account segment descriptions. In this demo, we will add a GXC formula to a report that uses GXL formulas. In the worksheet, select the desired cell to contain the GXC formula. Here, we will select the description cell. To access the GXC panel, click the Formula Builder button in the Spreadsheet Server ribbon and then select the GXC formula in the GL Formula section. The Worksheet section identifies where the formula will be created, so in this panel, the worksheet and the starting cell fields must remain unchanged. In the Query section, select the appropriate query from the Ad Hoc Query drop-down list. The queries listed will vary based on the ERP or general ledger used. Upon selecting the query, the relevant parameters are available for the ad hoc query selected. This example requires the account number parameter. The Designer GL determines the parameters that need to be referenced. Some Designer GLs only need to reference the account number, whereas others may need to reference all available account segments. When setting up segment values, you can use cell references instead of static values. This ensures that even if the reference cell value changes, the GXC formula will be automatically updated. Enter the cell that contains the account segment used in the GXL formula. Here, the account number is in cell A11. The value input box is automatically populated with the cell content. Once the cell references are confirmed, click the Insert button. The GXC formula will be inserted into the starting cell where the account description will now appear. Now let's update the GXC formula in Excel. The description cell, D11, is populated with the description for the account in cell A11. If we change the account number, the description will be updated as well. Segment values used in the GXL configuration can be referenced in the GXC panel to dynamically update the GXC formula in Excel. Copy the row containing the formula and paste it in the subsequent row. Update the account number and note the updated description. While the GXC formula can read a single account number, it cannot retrieve account descriptions for lists, wildcards, or ranges. These spreadsheet server syntaxes cannot be utilized. And there you have it. Seamlessly retrieve account descriptions in your reports to streamline your financial reporting process.